In this movie, we're going to demonstrate the te one technique for reforming a SIM1 catheter. Uh, as you can see, the wire has been placed up and over the auric arch. Uh, this is a floppy wire, can either be a, a glide wire or a um, Benson wire. Um, we then use the valve to support the SIM1 catheters that tracks up and over the arch. Uh, these catheters come in three different sizes, SIM1, SIM2, SIM3. The diameter of the uh, shaped catheter is sized to the diameter of the auric arch. Bigger arches need, for example, a SIM3 catheter. And you can see here that once the catheter is reformed, the wire is pulled out of the nominate, uh, back into the catheter, and, it's, and then we actually engage the catheter by pulling it back and rotating it up into the origin. And you can see that's the nominate that's been catheterized. You then push the catheter forward to disengage it, uh, rotate uh, away from the origin of the nominate and then rotate back to try and engage the origin of the left common carotid artery. And this can be, can be challenging, especially if it's a bovine origin of the artery. Uh, unlike other catheters where you push forward to engage the orifice, these are reversed curved catheters and you, you pull them back to engage the, uh, the origin of the carotid artery. And what you look for is that characteristic pop as the catheter race is engaging there, and then as you pull it back, obviously it's not completely in. Uh, you try to want to minimize this, and now it's actually popped into uh, the origin of the carotid artery, and the wire has been advanced. And then you can confirm it by going ahead and performing um, an arteriogram to confirm you're actually inside the carotid. Thank you.